What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Mr. Watch. And today we got CM Gold returning us back with another batch of dev notes. So it is June 11th. We are this is Global Dev Notes, and they do give us a decent amount of stuff on here that we're going to talk about. So pretty much this first initial massive essay that they wrote is saying that you know we're sorry for all the mistakes that we made, and this is referring to the Valenti banner screw up. And like I said in that video where I talked about the compensation, that the compensation that they gave us was enough for the, the mistake that they had. And that was, you know, the 10th step of the Valenti banner said it was going to be one gem, and instead it was just the standard 10 gems, and that's a, like a translation issue, but it's just something that you're, you, you can't do, right? Like you're not allowed to have like those type of mistakes. But regardless, they compensated it by having it as long, like while the banner was up, if you did the 10th multi, you were going to be refunded 10 gems when it came, like when the next update came out. So I did three rotations, I got 90 gems back as soon as the update came out this week. So that was perfectly fine. But my point with that one was it was a really good opportunity for them to do something extra and they didn't need to. But like, let's say they did a full refund on that banner. Uh, it would have been a really, really good thing rather than just just enough. But that's about it. So I don't want to talk too much about that going down. They're talking about like, you know, they're translating to 12 languages. Sometimes issues happen, whatever. And then they said uh, temporarily fix. Uh, there was like a stability issue where there was like uh, the freaking game went the, the garbage for like two two minutes or a minute or whatever happened and if you were summoning on Valenti banner at that time it completely bamboozled you and brought you back to step three but also like what I, I still don't understand it completely what it, I, it like consumed your gems and then gave you the Valenti after after you restarted your game either way it happened to Sekopoko but yeah like that was like another issue so that's fine. Pretty much here they're just saying that, hey, you know, we use the forums and listen to stuff and do things like that. Okay, okay. And they said, we prepared the 100 day events in order to provide abundant benefits to all knights, but the desired impact was lessened by mistakes. We only hope that you know we are trying our best to meet your expectations. This week we prepared 100 day celebration costumes and furniture, excuse me, which we mentioned, with a special white wave cheering uniform set given exclusively to knights on global, which I do think is nice. I do like that a lot. Then now we actually get into the, the upcoming stuff. Chapter 10 and upcoming grand story. Does this mean like grand cross story? What is a grand story? So chapter 10 is coming out. It's going to be the, the fight festival with all the commandments. Aside from the story of the chapter, the development team uh, is also hard at work for making a different kind of grand story. We can't reveal it yet because we are still in the midst of development, but we are working around the clock and hope that you'll enjoy the content like the Tensura collab. That's all we can say for now, but next time... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I saw someone tweet about this. So, there's a couple of things this can be, right? They could be referring to the new collab that was... Datamine figured out... I don't know if they officially said who it was, but it is uh, Attack on Titan. Right, so let's go over GC database. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Ready, All right? So this is from the files. You can see that we have a bunch of Titan stuff in the game files already. So the next collab will be Attack on Titan. Which is really, really cool. I was hoping for Demon Slayer. I think Demon Slayer or something like Bleach would have been absolutely amazing. But, Attack on Titan is good. Definitely take it. With Season 4 coming up, they probably are going to try to you know time it with that. Uh, I mean, when, when is Season 4 coming out? Season 4 isn't coming out for some time, right? Who knows? Okay, but... They could be, when they say Grand Story, because the, the fact that they mentioned the Slime Collab, they could be referring to Attack on Titan, and maybe, you never know, it could be like a simultaneous collab on both Global and JP. Uh, maybe not. Or, this could just be exclusive Global content. 
and that is what a couple of other people have been thinking as well and i think that's perfectly fine too like exclusive global content is okay and it's actually really cool considering that majority of your player base is on global like this is where everyone is at the end of the day right i think like korea and jp have like a fraction of what global has in terms of players actually playing the game so going on final boss final boss go there i made a final boss king last time and excited blah 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 so final boss go is coming out which means new ur costumes for him to make sure you farm it all up it's going to be the same method most likely as um or the same like structure as king was so there's going to be like the, the individual rewards that you get from simply redoing it multiple times and using the currency and then you're going to have the ranking rewards and that is probably what we're gonna figure out for who's gonna be the best team on but usually it's not too hard to get the ranking rewards in this in this stuff because they give out all the important things like within like top 50 percent and then the other stuff above that is just some extra you know hammers and anvils but i think if you can get top 15 percent you get all the gems and it's like some you know so it's a good amount of gems what is it like 30 50 something something like that 50 gems maybe and then they also mentioned that we're getting Mage Lilia. So this is Blue Lilia coming up. This is the, you know, the one that enables pen teams a lot. So this Lilia will come up and make everyone hit like a truck. And she will be good enough. Even with Valenti existing, Lilia will be good enough uh, to still use with Demon Meliodas if you want to run that team. But that's going to be it for final boss Gother going down to reverse stages reverse stages are another it's another game mode they're harder difficulty and they are the essentially the story stages and you get stars and you get rewards they're good to do but they're going to be harder on average but they're definitely worth it that's it you know you, you get rewards you can see up top like depending on how many stars you get per each place you'll get enough to get for example, here you will get three part one tickets. Or is that part two? I really hope it's part two. But they haven't introduced the part two banner yet. Okay, that's all we have for today's dev notes, stuff, stuff, stuff. Okay. And then I just want to quickly show off on JP. I have. Because a new update just came out on JP and it brought out Super Awakening. And I just want to show off how completely busted this thing is. Okay, you can already see here by what uh, my Meliodas, King, and Dien up top have, and so does my Red Escanor. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness. 235 KCC. Absolutely massive. This is 15... Oh my. This man has almost 180k HP! How is this allowed? <laughs> My god. So, there's also the Tower of Trials, which I haven't done yet, but... I want to give that a shot. Tower of Challenge? I do want to do one. Okay, let's, let's just throw up my, my highest CC team, right? And even though there's not that much synergy will go up but the one thing is if you go all the way to the top let's see one seven of these look at look at this guy escanor this is 300k cc escanor okay two one two does gear matter here or no I don't think gear matters. Oh, yeah, yes, it does. Yes, yes, it does. Okay. So we will put uh, Red Escanor in the back. Usually, a common thing I like to do. 
And yeah, this isn't like a traditional team, but we're going in. Let's let's see how this works, right? Okay. Let's uh No, why is it on auto? Oh, the final boss Deanne skin is so good. I can't wait for that to come out on global. Wait, what the heck are what is my HP? Like, what? Why does my like thing look like this? What do I have? Minus fifty percent. Pen? Is that what that is? Does everyone have minus fifty percent pen? Oh, I guess that's like the gimmick, right? Everyone just has 0% penetration for for this fight. So I guess each, on top of, on top of the fact that it's Okay, okay. So you're limited to four units. And then each like each stage has its own gimmick. Okay. So I just wanted to see what one of them was like. Now keep in mind that this is where you get the awakening materials. If you guys don't know how to actually awaken people, let's say I wanted to awaken Zeldris, right? First of all, this is the one part that I absolutely hate. It's that it's capped by your level, like your ultimate level. And if you don't have, like, I don't know how it scales, right? But you can go up to four stars, and it is, like, I don't know how many, like, points in your, like, how many dupes you need to get, to be able to put in another star. So that is, like, the, the one thing that I'm not sure of. Actually, we can, we can test it, because my Elizabeth here does not have... She is uh three six, right? And I have a I have a dupe of her, but we will uh test this out, right? So you can use coins, right? You can use whatever many coins from here, and each of them give a different amount. Like this one gives one, so you need 225 for that. These ones give 15, and these ones give 225, right? So we we'll use one mono coin. So it seems like I can do the next one. Here we'll go through, we'll use 15 of these. Okay, so I, I can do this one too. Uh, I don't like mono, so you're leaving. I mean, I only have three dupes and it lets me do everything. Oh, that's so weird. I need, to, I need to test it with like someone that isn't this, right? Like someone who only has a couple dupes. Who do I have this new that doesn't have that many dupes in? Okay. This Zeldris, right? Oh, but I gotta get him six. Okay, that's too much effort. That's too much effort. But yeah, I. Okay, I guess it's not that much of an issue then. Because if I can be 3 6 and have access to all four dupes, like you can't go beyond four right now. Hmm. 
I wonder if they let you do like one or two and only having like another dupe or two allows it. But that's it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. New dev stuff, new Attack on Titan collab, Super Awakening. See, I, I gotta wait and see how, how lenient they are with these coins. But uh, yeah, I don't want to have to throw away all my Platinum coins for this. That's gonna be it for now, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.